All right, so welcome back from Christmas break. At least you guys get an extra day at home. So, uh, but we're going to get into a new unit. Uh, just a reminder, if you're at home, I put it on Canvas. And if you have not finished your ratio and proportions test, get that done today because it is a zero in the grade book. So for those of you at home, if you haven't done it, um, the access code is on there. It's on Canvas. Get it done uh, so you can get the, that grade up from a zero. All right. Uh, at home today, you're going to have a couple con assignments, but uh, we're going to deal, start dealing with inequalities. All right. We have done things with equations, uh, but now we're going to get into things that have more than one solution. So, for instance, remember the mouth always opens to the greater number. So, and a straight line here means that this is equal. So, if I were to read this from left to right, I would say n, or a number, is less than or equal to negative 5. So, if I say, well, what are two solutions to that? Because your con assignment is going to ask you for solutions to inequalities. Well, they're just numbers that make this true. Well, what are some numbers that are less than or equal to negative 5? Well, Negative 5 works because negative 5 is equal to negative 5, and that's what that solid line means. And then I could pick any numbers that are less than it. I'm going to put negative 5 and negative 10. Those are two solutions to this inequality. Okay. Now, to graph it, all you do is basically three steps. You go to the number. Okay. Now, you're going to put a dot on negative 5. So we're going to go to negative 5. But now you have to know, is that a solid dot or a hollow dot? Well, here is your guide. If it is just, it's a hollow dot if it's just greater than or less than. It's a solid dot if it's greater than or equal and less than or equal. That's kind of your guide there that we'll use. Because why does that solid dot mean? When I go to graph, it means it could include negative 5. So if I go to graph this, First step, I go to negative 5. Second step, I put a solid dot because it could be equal to negative 5, and that's what that solid dot does. It includes negative 5, and it's all numbers that are less than negative 5. I go up and to the left. That is graphing an inequality. Okay? Now, I'm going to go down to number 4. Number 4 says R some number r is greater than 2. And you, I guess you could also read it as 2 is less than r, but we'll just read it as r is greater than 2. Well, what are two solutions to that? Well, not 2. 2 doesn't work because 2 is not greater than 2. 2 is equal to 2. So I could pick like 3 and 7. Those are two solutions, values of r, that make that true. Okay? So then, how do I graph? Step 1, I go to my number. I go to 2. But this is a hollow dot because it doesn't include 2. And these are all numbers that are greater. So you go to the right. This line should include all the solutions. Notice this includes 3. It's right there. And it also includes 7. It also includes 10 because that line just keeps going. Okay? I'll just do two more right here. We'll do... Actually, we'll just do... We'll do these two. We'll do 5 and 6. Okay? Actually, do a 3 and 6. So 3 and 6, I'm not going to do solutions. I am just going to show you on number 3. It's just, it's just numbers that are less than 1. Those are solutions. So I go to 1. I do a hollow dot. Numbers that are less than 1, I'm going to go up and to the left. But it's hollow because it doesn't include 1. Okay. Number 6, these are numbers that are less than negative 2. Negative 3. Negative 4. Also negative 2. So I'm going to go to negative 2, and I'm going to put a solid dot on negative 2 because it's less than or equal to, and numbers that are less than negative 2 are all numbers to the left. Negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. That's one part of what you're going to do tonight, okay, or tomorrow. Or today, I guess, I should say. It is Sunday night here. I just watched the Colts win, so it's all good. So they're going to the playoffs. Now, here... Um, there's another section on con that says write the inequality. Well, you just go to, you just go to the, you just go to the graph. Okay, you go to the inequality. So this says solid dot on five. So these are all numbers that are less than or equal to five. That's what you're writing. That's what you have to write from this graph. So we write that as I'm going to use x. You can use anything you want. So this is x is less than or equal to five. 
That is the inequality that matches that. Now, you could also write it the other way. You could put your 5 first. You could put 5 is greater than or equal to x if you want, right? 5 is greater than all these numbers here. Two ways to write it. I prefer putting the variable on the left-hand side. Okay? I'll, do all, I'll do these four here. These are all numbers that are less than, less than negative 1, not including negative 1. So if I were to write that, that is x is less than negative 1. Okay? Next one, hollow dot on negative 1 again. So really, from the graph, you can already just say, hey, if there's always going to be an x. You put the number that the dot's on, and you just got to figure out the correct inequality. Well, those are all numbers that are just greater than negative 1. Next one, we're on negative 5, so x and negative 5. These are all numbers that are less than negative 5, not equal to, right? You can't put the equal to because it's not a solid dot, all right? I'll do the last two just to be quick, so we'll finish it up for you here so you can see these. Looks like we've got x, numbers that are less than 2. x is less than 2. And this one looks like numbers that are less than or equal to negative 5. That is x is less than or equal to negative 5. That is going from a graph to an inequality. You will be asked to go both ways on, con, on your con assignment. All right? And you will probably be asked to do some solutions as well. So there will be three con assignments. If you have issues, you don't understand something, watch a video on con. Uh, they're not posted, but you can always click on to watch a video. Take a hint if you need to. Uh, especially with the graphing, where you have to switch the arrow and and fill a hollow dot or a solid dot, it may take a couple on the graphing to get the get the hang of it. So you may have to take a hint a couple of times. Uh, but as long as you get what's going on, you should be fine. And then I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Uh, have hope you had a great break. Uh, hope you're ready to work when I see it come Monday and Tuesday. All right. Later.